I wonder if I already talked about that picture. I think I did too. <laughs> well, <clears throat> that guy is me in Brazil, and I suspect I just got there uh, because I think that brown suit was early on. Oh, I'm not. Oh, it's sitting down there. Okay, um, blurry picture of Brazil um, parade, and I don't know who these people were. They were probably famous. They they looked like they were famous anyway, but I don't know who they are. Again, this is some of the Brazilian uh, terrain as you get inland, uh, inland from the very southern part of Brazil and Porto Alegre, and up into the mountains, and it's really pretty neat country. Again, the uh, horses and mules. Uh, uh, this was Gaucho country, where the uh, kind of cattle country. Um, so there were, there were. Uh, oh yeah, this is. They have a uh, the gauchos, which are called gauchos in Argentina, have a some kind of tea, mate, I think they call it, and uh, and it's that's a gourd, and they put it in that gourd, and then they suck it through a, look like a straw, but there's a strainer in the bottom of the straw so you don't suck the chunks out. You only suck the juice out. And this is probably one of these uh, goofy companions. I, <laughs> it might even be me. <laughs> I'm trying to suck on that giant gourd. Anyway. <clears throat> and again, out the, wa out the window, this is uh, uh, it kind of kind of looked a little primitive, but this is the way it was. Dirt, dirt roads and and horses and mules. And I uh, didn't, somebody, I don't look very pleased in that picture, but I think that's me. <laughs> the, uh, the, again, more serene scenery from this, from this uh, high elevation uh, in Brazil. I don't know where that came from. And now we're back to Kodiak flying, and I don't know where that is. Um, this is the, a uh, backwards picture of of Kodiak. I couldn't see it for a second on the slide. is is in backwards, so we're looking through it the wrong way, so it's reversed. <clears throat> more of more of Kodiak. Um, and out at Bell's Flats, where we uh, built our first home, this is a picture taken out there. And I'm back to my companion, Elder Anderson, and myself. He was a redhead, <laughs> and uh, they nicknamed him Foguinho, which means little fire. So redheads they called, nicknamed Foguinhos or little fires. And uh, again, before my mission in Santa Catalina, after I got home from my mission, this was Kodiak, and this was mom and dad's house out, um, out the road from, from town. Um, out towards Menashka Bay, and this was the, their little Panabo, it was a little cedar home. Back in Salt Lake, Cousin Shirley. We're fishing, and that's Lars, famous Lars, my kid's favorite guy. And that looks like it's either, I don't know, it could be Ken or one of his, or Trevor or Ryan. I can't tell. Oh, Ken Manthe. Maybe it's Ken Manthe. And this must be Kodiak. This is, oh, look, sweet wife right there. That's Jane. And there's where we worked on the Liahona to get it ready to go to Alaska after we got in the water, after we built it in our yard in Marysville, Washington. And here is, well, what do you know? The pictures are in order. There was the boat being built. There's... There's, um, well, that was Susan and Eric. And there it is. There it is again. And Jane's taking the picture because that's Susan and me and Eric. And there the boat is with Skiff on deck. And here was Grandma and Grandpa's barn on the in, in uh, Squim, Washington, oh, back on my mission. And there's the Leona again being built. Too many pictures of that. You've seen those. There she is. 
um, picture of Kodiak, probably taken out the door of the H-52 helicopter, which was uh, what I flew in in Kodiak and the Coast Guard. And uh, at the time, these pictures probably meant something. I'm not sure where this is now. Could be up on Shuyak. No, I don't know where it is. Oh, back getting the boat ready again in Marysville. And I don't, I'm, search me, I don't, for a clue. This might have been while I was in the Coast Guard in San Francisco. Yeah, I bet it is. Yep, I see a building that's, the building that's not supposed to tip over in an earthquake. This is, that's the Golden Gate Bridge. And I'm in the, in H-52 helicopters flying around the Bay Area, my second duty station in the Coast Guard. Uh, this is uh, Farallon Islands, or rocks. No, maybe not. Out, right out of San Francisco Bay, straight out. There was a helo pad on that. We landed the helicopter on top of that thing. And uh, we had to hoist something. And um, the hook snagged on the grate uh, as we were loading batteries or something in or out, I can't remember. And, and we had to... And rather than the cable coming up tight, when the guy running the cable saw that the hook was hooked, snagged on the ground, there was a shear thing, and you could shear the cable off, cut the cable off, so the helicopter wouldn't be uh, dra uh, dragged by the being hooked to the earth. So anyway, that's where we were. And there it is, right straight out of San Francisco Bay. Of all things, there's a rock pile out there. It's a Golden Gate Bridge. I'm sure that was a not a good place for having rocks as you come in San Francisco Bay. Probably more of my time in San Francisco. Um, this is what the Golden Gate looks like when you're flying a helicopter around. I guess that was a day I happened to... Oh, there's a famous place. That's San Francisco. Again, that's Alcatraz, the famous island prison out in the middle of San Francisco Bay. Golden Gate, more of that rock. There's that thing we, place where you land the helicopter. The white is probably bird poop. Oh, there's the uh, spots in the helicopter in a hover right there. Looks like more of San Francisco, it is. And more of San Francisco Bay. Probably Sausalito, north of, San, or, yeah, north of San Francisco Bay. Was uh, looking out the door of the H-52 helicopter. Now I don't know what I got here. Kids fishing. I don't know where. It looks like it's an Alaskan picture, though, because that green line was what we used a lot of. And here I am trying to get the first Liahona finished so I can head to Alaska. And I'm in a, in a helicopter, um, but I don't know what's going on. Here was a floating processor, or oh, I think I was in C-130s on this time. Um, I look back. Oh, that's the windows out of a C-130. This is when we were flying Alaska patrols out over the Bering Sea, and looking at who all was fishing inside Alaskan waters. And then we took pictures of them. Back to the Liahona. Looks like it's getting closer to done. I have the mast and the boom up. The deck winch is on. The purse davit. Stabilizer poles. Back in the Bering Sea again. Spying on people fishing in our waters. Here I am finishing up the Liahona. Again from, I must have crawled up. Yep, I did. I crawled up in the mast. And there's Eric and... Jane looking in on me, working on building the deck on the Leohona. Again, flying Alaska patrols with a C-130. <clears throat> that uh, propeller is 13 foot, 6 inches in diameter, <clears throat> and that's a 4,900 horsepower engine right behind it, just so you know. And here's the Leohona again with the mast up. I was pretty proud of that boat, my first boat. Another processor. Uh, draggers catching everything there you can imagine. Uh, my first diesel engine in the Leona. Perkins, 6354 Perkins. 
Oh my goodness, we just jumped back 100 years. Here I am as a little kid. These are veins of coal over at Homer across from Seldovia. And it's an old slide. Wow, it's an old picture my dad took. That's me, so yeah. And the black streaks on the mountain are veins of coal, and the veins of coal go all the way down underwater. And you can see those veins of coal go all the way up to the top vein is a vein of peat. And then right above that is a vein of, of grass. <laughs> and so you, you wonder when the next layer of sandstone is going to pile on top of that grass. And, and then a few more thousand years, you got coal. And here we are again, looking from the top. Another foreign Russian or Japanese factory trawler out in the Bering Sea. And I'd say there was a picture looking out the front window of the boat. Another part of our Alaska patrols, which would go for, we'd fly for 14 or 16 hours all over on a grid all over the Bering Sea and looking for people that were fishing illegal. Uh, and this is, are some of those pictures. See the slides backwards. Another one of them. There I got the slide, right? This is Alaska, probably. Definitely not Brazil. And uh, oh, this is back in Brazil. We attended a, uh, there was a, quite a following of the spiritualists. And this was one of their baptisms. And it was uh, a little too weird for me. Anyway, um, another is a, a high view near Porto Alegre, southern Brazil. And I can't see what that is. But this is my companion, Elder Lever. Super neat guy. I met him a few years ago. He actually stopped by Oakley and visited. He was, uh, he was an orthodontist. He got home from his mission and went to school and became a well-known orthodontist. These are some members. I think we had a tour excursion up to uh, up to this area, area in Porto Alegre. Here it says, welcome to Porto Alegre. Huge city. Uh, they were building a huge uh, Fuji ball, soccer, soccer stadium. Uh, down there it's called Fuji ball. Kind of like football, but not quite. And I think I'm fiddling around here. And uh, big ra big TV station in town is up there. Here's the capital, which is in Porto, the capital, capital uh, building of, of Rio Grande do Sul, um, which is in Porto Alegre. A lot of bronze here, a lot of beautiful statues. Look at that, amazing stuff. And look at that, wherever that is, a lot of bronze. And here's one of our diversion days when we went to the mountains. I, I'm ashamed to say that about the only time we took pictures is when we were on a P day. So you think, what in the world? We are just all we did was be on vacation and, and on my mission and, and climbing in the woods and swinging on vines and and uh, being at the beach and everything. But no, but it, but uh, these Mondays were the only day we took our cameras with us, <laughs> almost the only days. So the pictures were of. Uh, this is a big drawbridge that's on the the river that goes up from Lago dos Patos, uh, Lake of Ducks, and then goes up to, I can't remember the name of the river. Anyway, that was the drawbridge. And there is the city of Porto Alegre from that bridge looking looking at it. Uh, again, there was the same thing. This is a, a statue of a, a gaucho, a Brazilian cowboy. Um, we had this on our mission pin, actually. Uh, only, only under near, near his feet is a stack of the gold plates. <laughs> Oop, there I am, and there he is. This is a place that we visited uh, on a on a Monday. A huge waterfall, hundreds of feet high. And and I I think I'm. There's a ladder going up this sheer cliff. Um, I can't. And I, and it looks like one of us is going up that ladder right now. Uh, that could be me. It's a little too dark. I can't see it on my screen. And then at the top there was a little dam or a little reservoir. Uh, a little confession. We, we weren't supposed to go in boats, but there were these canoey boats up there on that little 
Dinky Reservoir, and and uh, I'm taking the picture, so I wasn't in the boat, but somebody was, and whoever they were, they didn't want to be seen, so that's why they're laying down in the boat. It was a no-no, so I'm ashamed to say, uh, there we are, <laughs> and here we are at that same place again. Myself and some of our companions, Elder Utter on the far left, Amazingly strong man. He could walk on his hands just as easy as I could walk on my feet. And this is from the above of that, the top of that waterfall, looking out of the valley. Uh, really an amazing sight. More of that scenery, and still from that vantage point. This actually was not in. It was further north, um, in a town called Joinville, which was surrounded by by water and islands and waterways, and fishing was actually quite um, a profitable there. there were one of the brethren in our branch was a fisherman. Again, this ladder that goes straight down. Uh, I'm sitting on a cliff with my feet hanging out. Probably, those are probably my tennis shoes. Yep, there we are again. I get turned around a little bit. Um, uh, but um, this was stupid, uh, clearly stupid. I mean, that's a thousand feet straight down, and, and I'm sitting on the edge of a rock. Uh, obviously, those rocks have been breaking off and falling down there for thousands of years, but for some reason, uh, there I am. Uh, same place. And this is one of the waterfalls at the bottom. Oh, man. Got to get the right bifocal here, but... This is, near Joinville, there were, up in the woods, there were huge hardwood trees and a canopy 100 feet up in the air <coughs> of limbs, and then there were these vines that came all the way down to the ground. And we would get our little pocket knife off, out, and cut these vines off at the ground and then swing on them. I think that's probably one of us upside down, swinging on a vine. Again, another unique and beautiful place of Brazil. Here, wrecking the vines in the jungle again. We never run into anything poisonous or anything uh, too scary. Uh, nothing, no, I don't remember anything about snakes or tarantulas or scorpions or any of that kind of stuff. And we just, uh, it was a great diversion day activity to go explore the jungle. And obviously, here's our whole district. This was probably our whole district. We were on a district uh, outing, and that's the, one of the ways to get to the top. Catholic Church, um, amazing architecture. They, uh, they went all out on their buildings. This is one of a new one being built in uh, San Leopoldo. St. Leopold, San Leopoldo, if I remember right. Uh, again, this was a, a spiritualist uh, celebration, or baptism, I think it was. This is a cemetery. They had uh, Brazil. They had uh, you could buy a little a little uh, stone box that would slide into a stone wall, and and they'd mortar it up, and that was how you got buried without being underground. This is from a huge building. I think it's probably only the prosperous people could be buried there, but this is up on one of the terraces looking out. And this is how you built streets in Brazil. Uh, no big machines. A crew would come in and they would start laying these stones, granite, square granite blocks in that sand, and then kind of wiggle them down into the sand. And then a truck would come along with sand and, and sift sand on top, and it would all filter in amongst the cracks. And these roads last for centuries. And there's that Catholic church down the street again. Oh, there's that street being built again. The, behind me is the sand over the top of the stone. And in front of me, no, the other way around, I think. I think I'm standing on the new stone with sand on it. And then the stone's being laid to meet that other street over there. And this would have been back in Porto Alegre again. Oh, more of this baptism event. Uh, and there's Irma Miranda and her daughter, whose name I cannot remember. Yeah, more of that. Don't need more of that, but I was fascinated by it. 
This is what, this was a outing of some sort. These were all members of the church in one of the branches. And uh, I'm not sure why I took a picture. But, um, this is a not so crowded bus. A lot of poverty um, in the city, a lot of beggars and people who m survived by digging through garbage cans and Garbage cans, frankly, didn't have a lot of good stuff in them. It wasn't a very prosperous area. And I'm, I think that's probably me or my companion standing up there in a rocky place. Here's again a lady going through the garbage looking for something to eat. Pretty heart rending to see. Back on the beach again. Well, how could I help herself? Good member of the church, a super neat family, rotten teeth, but a beautiful lady. So I had to take her picture. Okay, let's stop. That's a feta out our window. Uh, it's a marketplace. It happened every one day of the week. <laughs>